So in today's DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm going to show you how you could back up and restore using a DaVinci Resolve project file versus using a database backup and restore option. So let's go ahead and see how we can do this so that you can have another way to actually restore any of your project files. Welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. On this channel, you'll learn how to be creative and I'll teach you the tools you need to create. So be sure to hit the like and subscribe button to help the channel create more content like this. So on a previous DaVinci Resolve video that I did, I showed you how to backup and restore using DaVinci Resolve's backup and restore database options. So if you have not seen that video, I will leave that in the description area below so you can check that out after you watch this video. Now, whenever you bring up DaVinci Resolve, the default view is the projects view. But if you go up here to this toggle right here, you could show and hide databases. So unlike most other video editors, DaVinci Resolve uses a database system. So whenever you're here, you could actually back up and restore, or you could even connect to other databases for more complex projects. So that's typically how DaVinci Resolve works. However, whenever you use this and all of your projects are stored in a database, there are definitely times when your databases could be corrupted or they don't work. And this usually happens whenever you upgrade to a newer version of DaVinci Resolve. And so what are some other options that you have to actually restore your projects if all of it is in a database? Well, thankfully, DaVinci Resolve gives you another option where you could actually back up and restore using a project file, which is very similar to many other video editors versus just using the database file alone. So I'm going to show you how to do that because I think for a lot of people who use DaVinci Resolve or who are brand new to DaVinci Resolve, this could be a really painful thing whenever your database no longer works and you can't recover your project files. So let me show you how to do that and it's really easy to do. Within DaVinci Resolve, there's a really easy option for you to export a specific project and then import it later. So once you have your project open, all you have to do is go up here to File. And then if you scroll down, you see this option called Export Project. So once you do that, it's going to ask you where you want to place this. And the name of the file is going to be the name of your project, followed by a .drp extension, which is a DaVinci Resolve project file. So once you've decided where you want to export this, you'll go ahead and save it. So I recommend you put it in the same folder that you have all your other files for your project. And then once you've done that, you could actually go to the folder and you'll see a .drp file. So let me show you how this works in DaVinci Resolve. Now that you've backed up the file, you could actually restore this or import it into an project within DaVinci Resolve. For all your email marketing needs, check out AWeber, the premier service news at geekoutdoors.com. Get signed up today for free and also get 100% free complete account migration. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. So the first way that you could actually restore from a project file is to simply double click on the project file. Now, whenever you do this, it's going to do a few things. So let's go ahead and double click on this. And so what DaVinci Resolve is going to do is it's going to ask you to name the project file because it still utilizes databases uh, to do all its projects. So it's going to ask you to create a unique project name because this project's already within my database. So I'm going to leave it the way it is, which is a copy of the previous file. So I'm going to say, OK. And so now it's importing the project. And if you notice, here is the project file, which is now opening. And there it is. Uh, it is the project. It's restored, but now it has a different name. And if you decided to import this to DaVinci Resolve, it's going to do the same thing. And I'm going to show you another thing that it does. If you actually go to that folder, it creates this other folder right here. So whenever you open it up from a project file, it's going to create this program folder. And there is some other things in here. It's mainly logs. So that's what's there. So if you do decide to import a project file, it's going to do the same thing as you double clicking on it. And if you're wondering how you would import a project 
into an existing project like say for example you had an empty project and you wanted to import this uh, you go ahead and open up a new project so I'm just going to show you an example so we'll go ahead and create this and then here you could go to file and then you could import a project and say for example you wanted to import that same thing and it's going to do the same thing it's going to ask you to name your brand new project file and it's going to import it into DaVinci Resolve but it works exactly the same as it did before if you double click on the file itself so that's how you could actually export a DaVinci Resolve project and then restore or import it later within DaVinci Resolve without having to rely solely on a database project file so that is it on this video on how to backup and restore using a project file within DaVinci Resolve. If you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you back up and restore your projects, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my DaVinci Resolve tutorials and tips, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And if you're a creative geek like me, and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, then join my Goal Content Creators Group, where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check on the page, and sign up for my Goal Content Creators Group.